Hi Cancer, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for a tarot reading for all Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Thank you for all the support. We are connected energetically. I send you love. I send you positive energy every day and appreciate you. So thank you for sharing your energy with me. And if you're new here, welcome. I post new readings every Friday. Then again on Monday. So if a reading doesn't resonate, come back in a couple of days and watch a new reading. Don't ever try to make it fit. Um, there's a reading it was here for you. I guarantee it. The other thing you can do is check other parts of your chart or even look around on Mondays. The style of reading is different every week. So on Mondays. So I one week is a pick a card reading. Another week is a uh, love reading. There's a monthly reading I do and I, I do a quarterly reading and then I also do a yearly reading. That'll come out in like December. So if you like tarot and you like the channel, I'd love to invite you to subscribe to Higher Source Tarot. All right, what advice do you have for Cancer? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What does Cancer need to know, please? Messages do you have for Cancer? Okay. All right, we'll begin here with a tarot reading, and then we'll have the Angel Answers Oracle cards, um, a reading from them as well. Ace of Pentacles. I feel like I haven't seen that in a long time. The Emperor. The Star. Seven of Pentacles. Eight. Oh, that's cool. Eight of Pentacles, Six of Wands, Hanged Man. This is really an awesome reading. Reading and the uh, Knight of Swords. Well, it's interesting because you've got the seven and eight right in a row. And again, there's, you know, 78 cards here. So to have them come out in order is unusual. You've got Aries and Aquarius here. You've certainly got a lot of earth. I feel like you've got great aspects for money, especially if you are at a new job. There's something with this emperor I feel is connected to all the money here. It can be somebody at work who maybe is in a higher position or if you get a promotion into that position who really recognizes your worth and value. So especially if you have a new boss, I feel like that's going to go great because you've got like this brand new chapter here that brings in brings in material gain, success, and wish fulfillment, okay? Now, it can't, it's not going to all be about the money, but that came out first because you've got a great money reading here. Others of you, though, this can be about stability in the body, in the physical body, and also in the home, too. And it can be about love. It's stability, though, either way. In a new chapter that opens up, I feel like you have this wish fulfillment. So if it's a relationship, you may have invested a lot of time in things. And it may be something that you're committed to and you both agreed that you are going to invest in the relationship. And that'll have, that will have things carried forward. That will help to develop and evolve so that it doesn't, you know, doesn't become stagnant. Um, but with this Ace of Pentacles, in terms of the body too, if there's, you know, if you've had some things where health was either not going how you wanted it to or physical fitness, maybe it took a back seat for a while. This is like that door that opens and you say, I'm back on it and things go forward. So it's a new beginning in a positive way. So we love the emperor. It's interesting because the emperor, right, the pool of consciousness runs right by his foot. Okay, you see it really big in the star and it's kind of tiny with him, um, but it's still with him. So the source energy still guides you, even if it's money related. The um, the emperor is wealthy. He's the architect of the universe and he gets what he wants. And so be very clear about what you're asking for. Sometimes we get a mix because we just don't know or we go back and forth. Maybe there's something in terms of love. There's still some resentment towards another person and there needs to be forgiveness there to really move forward with somebody new. Um, but I do feel like in a relationship, you have a very protective energy around it. He's the father of the tarot. He's, he has a very fatherly, protective demeanor. And so it may just be symbol, symbolic of wanting to have good boundaries in a relationship. Like I said, you both commit to something here. There's integrity in the reading. So I do feel like whoever you're, you're in a relationship with, for those of you that this is a relationship, and it can be work too, and there's trustworthy energy around you. There are people around you who say what they mean, and they mean what they say, and they don't forget. Have you ever worked with somebody who can't remember a damn conversation that you have with them? 
And it's like they really don't remember and you have to do everything in writing or it's like you know what will happen. These people are sharp, whoever they are. You've got sharp people around you and they're conscious and aware of what's happening. So we love the star because the star softens up the emperor. So does the hangman a little bit too. Um, the emperor can be so stern, but he is fun because he's so successful. So we love to see that because it's it's telling you you have an energy of feeling empowered. But with the star, it's renewal. It's revelation. It's a card of hope and getting more insight too. So through the process of meditation, you are connected to source here, right? She uses the pool of consciousness for balance, but she also focuses her attention on the pitcher of water going in and out. It's like she knows that this is just in her. And so it's like feeling like this really keen awareness that the universe is you. And you may even be driving in your car. I see somebody driving in their car saying right out loud, the universe is me. And your voice has a vibration to it too, by the way. So be don't be worried about saying things out loud, especially now that we can you know, connect our phones through our cars. They might just think you're having a conversation with somebody on the phone. I mean, 10 years ago, we would have looked like crazy people, but now it doesn't really matter. We all just blend in. So with this, though, it's definitely wish fulfillment. Either way, if it's career or a relationship, I definitely see that. And I also see you feeling very comfortable in your own skin, in every environment, wherever you go, you just feel good being there. And because of that, you're going to have a match with that same energy. Um, seven of Pentacles. Sevens are a very positive indication. They're victory in the tarot. Um, they're also about being in alignment. So some of you, this that spiritual energy that we talked about, being in alignment, is showing up here too. And it yields material gains because of that alignment. So there's no efforting here. There's no force. There is, though, a little bit of what feels like a delay. So it may seem like you put in a lot of work and you're kind of wondering, when is this going to happen? I've done all the spiritual stuff I can do, and I'm just waiting to see a material manifestation. Well, it can happen in small ways at first, and then it goes forward. But either way, I still feel like you're going to be having a successful conclusion here, moving into something where you're going to be making more money, like I said, with a boss who respects you. That's the main thing where I feel like it's it's not even the money as much as feeling really good in the environment and feeling like you work for decent people. So with the Eight of Pentacles, you build things up here. You got a laser focus, whatever that Ace of Pentacles is for you, whatever new door and new chapter begins, you're thriving in it. This is embracing and thriving and change. It is a focused energy though. So you are you understand that your point of attraction is your feeling it's from coming from your feelings the source of it and so some of you it may just be managing your own feelings too and then watching all the stuff show up but with the eight of pentacles i do feel like that investment in a relationship is a part of this i also think though it's an investment in work too feeling good about being there and at times maybe doing extra things just because you want to um so the six of wands you're definitely being noticed in a relationship. I do feel like you have somebody who honors you, respects you, but they're also attracted to you too. There's a passion energy here. Um, you get a lot of attention in this energy. And so even though you may do subtle things, extra things, and not need to advertise it, I do feel like it gets noticed. They're very aware of you. They're aware that you put in a lot at work and around in your environment. You may even find too, if you have a family, that they're acknowledging that too in this energy. And, and especially if they don't normally, where they're acknowledging all the things that you do. Because um, there's just this like so, sort of the celebratory energy. Um, so with the, um, and the six is our beauty. You know, it really is a beautiful energy. With the hanged man, this is that vision quest. It's really knowing in your mind's eye what you're trying to do, what you want in your heart, and and being releasing all the resistance, being open to it, being open to the energy. Because sometimes we're our own biggest block. We block things inadvertently. Sometimes it can be self-worth through limited, you know, programming from the past. Other times it can be attracting things we don't want and engaging too much in them. But with the hanged man, this is releasing all resistance, a surrender to win, and allows you just to be in the flow of the energy here. And so you're going to find that you have new opportunities opening because you're open. 
You're going to have new people showing up. And like I said, they really enjoy you. They like your energy because there's a zen about this. There's a calm about this. It makes you very easy to work with, easy to get along with. It's not a doormat energy. It's not like you're attracting hostile people who are, you know, it's okay just to go off on cancer. It's not like that. It's like you attract other people who are like this. Har harmonious energies will flock to you in this energy. So with the Knight of Swords here, he brings an interesting touch into the energy field um, because he can be aggressive. But I feel like in this reading, because everything else is so stable, it really is more about somebody who has an urgency to move forward. So you may find that at work too, because you have been, um, you've been putting a lot in and doing a lot of things, you may find that there's a swift change too, especially if you have a new boss, you might get promoted quick. Or you might get left with a lot of responsibility like they need to go somewhere and suddenly you're in charge. You know what I mean? Where they're rushing off and all of a sudden you're getting this communication, by the way, I need you to be, you know, in charge for the next week. It's something like that though, where it feels abrupt to me. It also could be somebody, if you're in, you're in a relationship, there it's very stable, but there may be this um, sort of turn on a dime, whether it's like go away for the weekend or this there's an urgency and sort of a push energy behind that knight of swords like move in with me you know that kind of stuff where it seems like it is a bit sudden so i do get that too and maybe that's not going to be for everybody you know we can insert our own free will into these readings all the time so somebody hears a reading and they you know they casually say I really don't like being pushed. The person hears that and they back off. Well, and then they say, how come I never had that pushy energy? Well, you did something about it. Now, I'm not advising to go out and do that necessarily, but I'm just saying that our free will in relationship to these readings matters, how we use it. So it's up to you, they say. Well, you've got an empowered energy here. I wouldn't uh, argue with that. Be assertive. Again, that Knight of Swords, maybe it's with them. You know, you tell your boss, I really don't like being left alone for, you know, suddenly without any warning. <laughs> um, helpful people. I'm kind of joking about that, but helpful people. Well, you do have indications here too, but I still feel like you've got this inner power that really is the dominant part of this reading within the next few weeks. So things are moving forward and you've got, now you've got there's something better. So when we get this, we ask the universe for what we want, but we say this or something better. And so, because there can be things that are brought in that we think are out of reach. The universe has it. It's available to you. It's just a matter of believing in it. So good things are on the way for you, Cancer. I love you and I'll be back again soon.